I want to welcome you back to Black Sight. And tonight, Russell Simmons, along with 50 Cent, responds to Oprah Winfrey's documentary on Russell Simmons. Russell Simmons wrote a long piece on Instagram explaining his situation and basically talking to Oprah Winfrey about this documentary that she's going to show at the Sundance Film Festival. Russell Simmons, the most prominent man in hip hop, is under investigation and allegations about his past sexual activities. And he asks very simple questions. After he has taken lie detector tests, then so many things to prove that he was innocent, why would Oprah Winfrey produce this documentary? And one of the least likely is people I thought that would come out in support of Russell Simmons, 50 Cent lays it all on the line and he puts it out front and center with a meme of all the men who are getting away with it. He put Donald Trump, Harvey Weinstein, Epstein, Brian Singer, and so many other white men who will walk and never face any jail time when it comes to their allegations. But Bill Cosby, R. Kelly, now you see Cuba Gooding Jr., Oprah Winfrey is opening up the gates against Russell Simmons. But where is Oprah? when it comes to these white men in control of Hollywood, she has said nothing, absolutely nothing. Her good friend, Harvey Weinstein, who she kisses and hugs, now she says he was a bully, that he used to call up her show and tell her who shouldn't be on the show. But I wonder if a black man called up her show, Oprah Winfrey, and said, don't put these individuals on her show. She would go live blasting these black men and discrediting these young black men in the media like she's doing Russell Simmons. If you don't believe there is an agenda to t attack well-known black men, something is wrong with you. I told you earlier in my own video in the 60s, they used to assassinate black men, kill them. In 2019 and 20, what they'll do, everything that you have spent your whole career working for, they will discredit you, make the media hate you, and the world see you as a deviant. So now, Oprah does a documentary on the greatest performer of all time, Michael Jackson who had, I repeat, the FBI following him for 10 years and they found nothing. She's going after the one of the biggest persons in hip hop history, Russell Simmons. They found nothing, but she's going after him. Now you see so many more, Cuba Gooding Jr. They have gone after, they even tried to go after Morgan Freeman. And we don't know who's next on the list all you need is one woman then by the evening you will have 10. but 50 cent by attacking oprah winfrey basically saying that this woman like i told you is a collaborator with white supremacy she wants to be a white woman and she hates black men and we have to understand that this woman must be canceled she must be put aside and told not to be accepted in our community. You cannot have a woman constantly go after prestigious black men and destroy. Damn it, if they want to make a documentary, let them white folks make the documentary. But why you? Because you give it credibility to everybody in the United States. You give it the stamp of approval. So now the DA will look back into Russell Simmons' case even harder just to try and find some information to put in front of the grand jury. Oprah Winfrey along 
with her fire starter girlfriend or carpet muncher girlfriend, Gail. They enjoy going after black men. They used to get on TV and giggle about R. Kelly. We know, everybody knows about R. Kelly. But has she gone after Harvey Weinstein? Where is that epic documentary on Harvey Weinstein? You know why you don't want to see it? Because if you look back into the Rowan Farrell, when he was producing this article for Vanity Fair, you see how many people in Hollywood and major media outlets were protecting Harvey Weinstein. You saw how NBC tried to kill Ronan Farrell's article, how they protected this man Harvey Weinstein, how when a young lady over at ABC put out a video about what was going on behind the scenes when they wanted to put out information on Harvey Weinstein, how everything was shut down. But you don't have the heart to go after this evil man that everybody knew in Hollywood was harassing some of the most prominent actresses that you know, but you wouldn't say anything. But when it comes to a black man, you rush to the mic. You rush and make a documentary. This woman is dangerous. And you must understand, money does not mean that you should be respected. This woman has a visceral hatred for prominent black men. And she's one of those people who want to be the queen of all black people. And that means if she have to step on black men to show her handlers that it's okay to go after them, because she is laying the groundwork. And I guarantee you this, Jay-Z, some of these other brothers out here in the entertainment industry who have been doing this for 20, 30, 40, you better be careful. Because they coming after you next. They want to destroy everything the black man has made in America. You see they come out with little snippets on Martin Luther King. Little things about Malcolm X. Trying to pervade. Trying to show America that they were deviants too. They use sex as a tool to destroy the public's view of each and every one of these men. Because this is what they used at the turn of last century against the black man. Times haven't changed, but what has changed is people like Oprah Winfrey, Gail, Tawana Burke, those women who support this wicked evil Me Too movement which is only a way to go after black men and destroy their image and their credibility in front of their own people. I want to thank you for listening to Black Sight. I hope you subscribe to this channel, smash that like button, and also share this video.